Well, as per usual, Cam Hart is in great demand as far as the club and angle meeting here on Saturday night is concerned. But one of his outstanding drives will be behind Better Zip, and of course, that particular combination taking out the inaugural running of the $1 million nullable a few weeks ago. So I caught up with Cam to discuss the progress of Better Zip it with his other drives on the card. Well, Cam, another busy night at the office. I bet you can't wait to get behind the nullable winner, the inaugural winner of that $1 million slot race, Better Zip it. Yeah, definitely. He's um, one of the most exciting horses I've driven for sure. And uh, yeah, coming back after that big win in Perth, it's um, good to have him back. He goes into the race, Cam, without an official trial. Have you been able to get behind him? Yeah, I had a little workout here at Menangle last Saturday just to tighten him up and uh, get a, try and get a bit of fitness into him. And he felt really good, so I'm expecting a good run from him. He's drawn the outside gate, your main thread Bondi lockdown, just one gate better off and with the advantage of one run back from a spell yeah he was really impressive first up he sat parked in 50 so you know he's going to be hard enough to beat but i still think my horse is probably the class runner in the race how do you go from the wide draw cam yeah he's very versatile i haven't spoken to jace about tactics or anything yet but i can really drive him whichever way i want just depending on how it looks early you can also shed some light on two of other jason's runners fire fox first of all yeah, he was awesome last start. He um, sat back on the fence and had to come first over at the half and, you know, run uh, Luke's good horse to, to like a length at the finish. So I was pretty happy with that. And, um, you know, he'll probably just need to posse up somewhere and get a cold run, but he'll definitely come home well. About time's been fresh in Cam since he's third in the uh, Wagga Cup behind Isaiah. Yeah, he's a very talented horse. He's very powerful and he's a good miler. He's got good gate speed. I nearly think he'd probably find the fence to start with and, um, yeah, whether they want to hold up or not, it's probably just depending on tactics from uh, a couple from out wide, my horse and one dial up down, so see what Jace thinks. It's going to be an intriguing race game. Apart from the two big guns, both Jason and Belinda and Luke McCarthy have a number of other runners, so it's going to be an outstanding event from go to woe. Yeah, definitely. Like, you've yeah, probably got Bondi Lockdown and Better Zipper are probably the standout too, but there's plenty of really nice speed horses, um, you know, drawn between us and, and the pole, so they're always dangerous. Yeah, going to be interesting to see how Mahomes goes too, first up for Jack Trainer. Yeah, definitely. He's been a good little speed horse his whole way through his career and he's stepping up with the big boys now and, um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how he goes. Cam, you're currently sitting on 94 winners for the season, 27 of them here. You lead the premierships in both regards, seven ahead of Luke as far as the Metro is concerned. You kick off proceedings in race one with my ultimate Carter. Yeah, he's a really improving type. You know, he's always had ability and he's got a good record, but his last couple of... Well, he trialled here just before his last win and felt really good to me and then went to Pen uh, Penrith, run a really nice race and um, he's stepping up in competition again, but I'm really happy the way he's going. Over to race three for Chris Judd, Carlo Gambino. This particular fellow's been going nicely without knocking the door down, but he will appreciate going from second row draws to the front line. Yeah, definitely, and he's probably a horse that just, he's a bit of an opportunist. He needs a little bit of luck in his running, but... Um, I think the, the race isn't too bad for him this week. If he can posse up, he'd be hitting the line well. Can we go over to race five, the state championship? Patsy Valentine for Alex Orchard. Uh, ultra consistent mare, due for a change of luck after a string of play, uh, runner up placings. Yeah, she's had a lot of placings, so hopefully this week she can crack through. And she did a bit of work in a, her final here on Saturday, last Saturday, and um, you know, just missed out. Uh, Jimmy Rattray's horse has been going well. and. We're probably going to have to rely, rely on a little bit of pace early to get us into the race this week. Yeah, Gordon's Bay and Brooklyn Bridge do look to be the two major players, but a horse like Patsy Valentine or even Ed Mendez, who just don't know how to run a bad race, could be the surprise packets. Yeah, for sure. If we get a little bit of tempo on the race, I think it's really going to suit my mare, and that's probably just what got Jimmy Rattray's horse home. He got a couple of good breathers there in that last final of ours, but um, yeah, if they go hard enough, I think she'll be coming home well. Over to race seven, Jason's got two runners, Tintin Joe and Joanne Joe. Which one will you be driving? Yeah, I'll probably select Tintin Joe in that race. Um, she's going really well. She got beat it in the Canberra Cup, but I still like to run there and getting back to a mile. I think she'll be hard to beat. And Joe and Joe's coming off and all the way, but narrow victory at Bathurst. Yeah, she's um, got a tough draw in that race. And, um, you know, she's a go forward horse. She'll probably just work forward and probably maybe have to sit parked, but she's going well also. Kim, you've already got the trophy for the Nullarbor on the mantelpiece and good news today concerning my ultimate Roddy. Yeah, he's got a slot for the Eureka, so super exciting. Um, you know, he's been a lovely horse for us and he really deserves his spot in a race like that. And, um, you know, it's only the fourth horse to be announced and, um, you know, they're four cracking uh, colts. So, 
yeah, hopefully, um, you know, we can get a bit of luck in the draw and all that, but that's a fair while, uh, fair while away. So we'll just um, hopefully get a good prep with him and, um, yeah, hopefully get a bit of luck. What's the best of him on Saturday night, Cam? Yeah, I'd probably have to go with Better Zip it. He's such a good horse and I think he'll probably prove too hard to beat. Thanks for your time. Good luck. Thank you.